Ryan, uh, just give us your reaction to the Fleetwood game, a, a testing draw, to say the least, in a very hot conditions. Yeah, uh, testing draw, I think uh, we had spells in the game where we could have uh, took, took the lead, obviously, and kind of pushed it on a bit more. Uh, didn't didn't go that way for us, but that's, that's football. Um, we had to grind in the second half. I think the conditions obviously played a part, but uh, we stuck together as a team and grind out obviously it's a sucker blow to concede so late in the game when we felt that we were quite comfortable really um, defending and obviously looking to catch them on the break which we did a couple of times but we'll take the point obviously with the, the day it was and uh, Fleet were obviously a good team as well Do you think on another day it could have been so much easier I think we had a couple of opportunities before the break there keeper made some great saves second half Dylan had a one-on-one chance mm-hmm. it, it could have been 3-4-1 really couldn't it? Yeah I think especially the first half that that uh, time that we were on top just before half time I think uh, we really like, pushed them kind of to the sword um, obviously just did, it didn't go in for us and then the second half obviously we, we had Dylan come on he was very fresh and obviously got in the keeper made a great save so I think on a different day, obviously, yeah, you're right. It could have been three one, could have been four one, and it could have kind of made it a more smoother end to the game. What was it like for a footballer playing in them conditions? Because it was absolutely baking on the press deck. I, I can imagine it was ten times as worse down there. Yeah, no, it was tough. Uh, it was tough even from the minute we kind of come out from the warm up. I think the conditions, obviously, sometimes your body's just not used to it. Uh, it's energy draining and it's like it's physical and mental as well. Um, but I think that we've done well to get through the day and obviously we'll take the point and kind of push on and hopefully kick on from there really. It's different for supporters, obviously they love it, coming out hot weather, mm. they, they turned up in the numbers as well, I think it was just under 4,000 home fans on the day, just a word on them because I thought the support was brilliant on the weekend. Yeah, no it was, uh, they, they've stuck with us, obviously there, there was probably times in the game where they probably wanted us to, to get at them maybe a little bit more. Um, but with, with the conditions, sometimes it's it's a little more, more difficult than, than it is. But no, they, st- they stuck through us uh, and they'll be with us for the season. So that's the main thing. Just sum up how the start of the season's gone from your point of view. Do you think we've been very unlucky against the likes of Shrewsbury and Fleetwood? Great cup result here and then obviously lost the way to Peterborough, who were are probably one of the fancied sides this season. How would you say the first four games have gone? Yeah, it's not been a bad start. We've obviously took points against Shrewsbury and uh, Fleetwood when... In, in both games, we, we've had spells in the game where we probably could have took all three. Uh, didn't didn't work out like that, but I think then, obviously, looking at the Peterborough game, they're obviously a really strong team, come down from the championship. They've got, obviously, championship quality, and they they probably just gave us a sucker blow, really. They finished their opportunities on the day and probably were deserved winners. So, But the, the, the cup run can kind of give you a little bit of a buzz as well around the place. I think start of the season, obviously, we've got a couple of draws and then obviously to to win obviously on penalties, it's it's exciting, obviously, and getting in the next round, looking who you get and hopefully we can kind of push on into a cup run. You just talked about the buzz in the changing room. There always seems to be something going on down there. There always seems to be a, a bit of banter flying about here and there. What's the, the group like down there? Yeah, we've got a great group, to be fair. I think on a day-to-day, if if anyone if anyone's seen us jumping around, they think we're kids. Never mind, <laughs> never mind adults. Uh, but yeah, no, I think I think the place is a really good group. Um, we've got a lot of great characters, and I think uh, as a team and as a unit, it's really tight knit, which uh, it's important, um, and especially so soon into the season. I think sometimes it can it can take a while for kind of like a team to bond off the pitch as well as on the pitch. But I think kind of. From the first few days of pre-season, we kind of really inter intermingled like, and I think it's it's a really good group, and we're really getting on together. For you personally, I mean no disrespect when I say this, you feel like you've come back a, a completely different player. Yeah, no, uh, no disrespect, disrespect taken. Um, obviously, I wasn't wasn't up to my performances last year. I knew that myself. Um, went off obviously in in the off season and kind of. Try to give myself the the best possible chance that I could coming back into preseason. I knew it wasn't going to be a walk in the park, and it's it's been <laughs> nothing like that. Um, I knew it was going to be difficult, but I said, "Look, you've got to put your head down." Um, I wasn't happy with how my season went last year, and I just wanted to like a like a reboot, kind of a fresh start, and um, put my head down and just see where that got me. Um, it's got obviously started the first couple of games, so. I'm just looking to build on that and kind of hopefully keep up the performances.
we spoke to the gaffer about the the subject we're just talking about now and it was a kind of a mentality switch of is it you go away and show him what you can do and put yourself into his plans and he said you'd taken the, by the scruff of the neck and that's exactly what you've done yeah i think it, it can't be too personal um it's a it's a rootless business to be in um it happens all the time i think everyone in, in football knows in different clubs it, happen, it happens just as much um but no we had to just kind of put the personal side away from it and just kind of crack on um that's that's how it is this this like sport this business uh not to be took personal you just gotta take it take it with a day it can be taken away from you so quick so you've got to appreciate the, the good times as well as obviously the bad and uh hopefully i can kick on Albeit it wasn't the most successful time at Scunthorpe, obviously, with them going down. But for you, was it vital just to go there and start to enjoy playing football again? Yeah, no, I needed to get games on my belt. Um, obviously, I was kind of in and out a lot last year, especially the first six months. Um, I just needed to get regular football. Um, obviously, I knew the, the manager at the time. And uh, I felt like it was the right fit for me at the time to go play games and kind of uh get myself back really um i feel like that i play my best football when i kind of get rid of them um so that was my main kind of thinking process bet- uh, between that last year and then to come back and receive the plaudits that you have done so far i think you were named in a team of the week as well which the afl put out that must be really pleasing for you um yeah i've obviously put a lot of work in the summer but now the, it's obviously really really good to kind of get them accolades and whatever praise but um i just kind of have to keep going now and not leave it get to my head um, just take it game by game and hopefully I can kick on really Bolton on Tuesday night now how much are you looking forward to that one of your former clubs yeah no it's an exciting game obviously uh, big fan base they have there uh, great stadium obviously especially from kind of like the history of playing the Premier League and stuff so now it'll be, be good to go back there and play and obviously we're we're looking forward to the game and believe that we, we've got the credentials and obviously the, the talent downstairs to put it up to them how much do you look forward to them kind of games? I think it's like back-to-back Lancashire derbies now, isn't it? Fleetwood and Bolton, respectively. Yeah. But that game against Bolton, especially last season, seems to be one of them games that everyone wants to look out for or wants to play in. Yeah, no, I think players, staff, obviously supporters as well, everyone's kind of in the same, in the same kind of predicament with it. Obviously, everyone's excited for the game and I'd imagine they're, they're the exact, exact same on their side of it. So it'll be an exciting encounter between the two teams. They've started off quite well as well. I think they've got five points from the three games that they played. Last home game, mm-hmm. battered Wickham, three yeah. goals to nil, which was probably unexpected, but just shows what they're about. Yeah, no, they've, they've started the season really well. Uh, they've got a, a great team, obviously, and great staff as well. Um, and they've started the season really well, but we've got to kind of put that to one side and they, anything can happen on the day. Um, and it's kind of who's at it on the day really so we're going to make sure that we put ourselves in the, in the right frame of mind and the right position to um, put ourselves in the best possible position to do that <laughs>